Welcome. It will be shared for a lifetime. I'm here to tell each and every one of us that there is a war that is being fought in this world today. This war is not just to end violence as the peacekeepers fight for. This war is not just to end homelessness as LA on cloud nine fights for. It is not just for freedom as the US military fights for. This war is against evil, fighting for freedom and victory over the arch enemy and sin. And I'm here to tell you that Carlos fought in that war. There is a scripture in the last book of the Bible, the book of Revelation. In the book, the chapter 14, of Revelation it says this here is the patience of the Saints here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus and verse 13 says and I heard a voice saying right blessed are the dead which die in the Lord. Please listen carefully. From henceforth, yea, saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors, and their works do follow them. Brother Carlos will be laid to rest from his labors, but his works will follow him as the Bible had said. My question that I desire for each and every one of you to ask is what are those works? The previous verse made it very clear. Here's the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and have the faith of Jesus Christ. When you have faith in Jesus Christ, you will indeed keep his commandments and so what are his commandments then his commandments are the Ten Commandments and I'm not going to repeat the Ten Commandments but I'm gonna make it very easy for every one of you the first four commandments is about your duty your loyalty 
and your love for your creator, which is Jesus Christ. The next six commandments is your duty, your loyalty, and your love for fellow mankind. That war that is being fought must have Marines, it must have soldiers. And that duty is a service to God and a service to your fellow mankind, to your brothers and to your sisters. Jesus told his disciples that when you follow him, that many will hate you, but he that endures to the end shall be saved. The Bible is filled with precious promises. And I know that many hearts are grieved, but the promises that are found in the Bible will lift you up. It will give you hope. And we will avenge Brother Carlos by living like him, by putting our faith in Jesus. There's another promise. It's found in the book of First Thessalonians. I don't have to read it, I know it. It says quite clearly that those who are alive shall not prevent them which sleep. For when the Lord comes, because Jesus is coming again very soon, when he comes with the sound of the trumpet just as you hear the, the trumpet of the military. But it will be a loud trumpet that the whole world will hear. When Christ comes back, the dead will rise first. Jesus will come to claim his own again. My, des my sincere desire is for that each and every one of you will be among that number. And the last scripture that I will read before I pray. 